Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I am going to be doing my June monthly favourites. Not quite sure if I did a March monthly favourites. I can't remember, it's all kind of merging into one. Um, but yes, I'm going to start off with beauty favourites. Okay, so I'm going to start at the base and work my way up. The first item has to be um, this product by The Body Shop. It is The Body Shop Seaweed Pore Perfectioner. Looks like that. Um, it's actually a really great product. And when I first, it smells really clean and fresh. I was kind of like seaweed on my face, really. Um, I do have the face mask, um, the Body Shop face mask that goes with this. And I'm really enjoying that. But I kind of wanted to just talk about this by itself. Um, you use the smallest amount, it is kind of like a gel formula and I think it really works. It, it's one of those things, just because it works for me, it might not work for somebody else, but I have really been seeing visible difference using this and yeah, it's, you use the smallest amount, it's really good. I must admit, I only use it on kind of my nose, I don't use it really anywhere else. Um, but I've really, really enjoyed it. Like for the last, I'm gonna say last few months actually, like it's like three months. The next item is a lip product. I am wearing it today. Mm. Um, this is the number seven high shine lip crayon. And I don't know what the shade is to be honest. It says 103ZZ or ZZ. Um, it's this very pretty, like, I hate this saying, but it is, your lips but better. Um, I believe this came in the advent calendar I got. So I've had it six months. Um, I think I pretty much used it the day I opened it on my advent calendar and I've not really given it much love since. And then I believe maybe in May I kind of, I was looking for a certain pink lipstick. It was like a Rimmel lipstick. Couldn't find it came across this in my collection, I was like, that, that will do. And it's so, it just feels really nice on the lips. The colour, it isn't that pigmented, it is kind of a natural, nudie colour, so it isn't a wow. Um, and it, if you're not eating or anything, it does last really well, but you know, one meal and it's gone. But it does feel really nice on the lips, so yeah, really enjoyed that. The other makeup item I've got is by Natural Collection. This is the Sun Tint Bronzing Pearls in Sahara Sun. Um, Natural Collection is something I used a lot as a teenager because um, you get it in boots, it is super cheap. I think everything's under £2. I'm not sure, I think every item is like £1.99 or something like that. Um, it is just some bronzing pearls. I've got it on today. It is buildable. I think I have it on quite lightly today. Um, if I was going out in the evening, I'd probably do a couple more swirls and go again. Um, but yeah, for such a cheap item, I just I can't speak highly enough of it. The pigment and the colour payoff is amazing. And I have actually already repurchased a second one of these. For nail polish this month, I've just got this um, clear, which is a bit boring, you may think. Um, but ever since I picked it up in May, it is the only clear that I have been using. I've been using it as my base coat, my top coat. At the moment, I've just got clear on. Um, and it's by the Makeup Gallery, and it's called Well Polished Nail Hardener. Um, I picked this one up at the pound shop. I believe Makeup Gallery is like a pound shop brand. I may be wrong, sorry if I am, um, but it's the only place where I've ever seen it. So it's a pound and I really, really liked it. It has definitely lasted better than a lot of clear polishes that I have used in the past. So a lot more expensive than a pound. Um, nail hardener, I don't know. See my nails, they kind of grow really quickly but they break really easily. So I don't know if it's necessarily made my nails any stronger but I've really liked it as a base coat. A fragrance I've been going for a lot the last two months is the Ted Baker body spray. Um, it just says Ted Baker London, but it is the green, like the mint green packaging. Also comes in pink, which I have got also. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> I will be doing a full review on, on the two body sprays, but as you can see by how much I have used, I've been going for this a lot, um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. The next item is kind of a refound, refound favourite. I'm sure this was in one of my favourites last summer. This is an original source skin quench shower gel um, in watermelon and jo I never can say this one, j jojoba oil. Um, I don't know, it, like scent wise I'm very much a vanilla person and in the winter I'm very much apple and cinnamon and then it gets to this certain point in the summer and all I want is coconut and watermelon. Alright, <laughs> so you know this hits my watermelon requirement smells nice, it's got those little bead things in that makes your skin feel good. It's just a nice product um, and yeah it's that thing where I kind of question myself why did I stop using this because I really like it. Okay so this is kind of a naughty one. Haribo. What do they call them? They call them Bala sticks. I call them strawberry pencils. These are my favourite brand of strawberry pencils. You can't get them everywhere. Um, the pound shop sells them and I have now discovered that as to sell them for less than a pound. Um, I love them. Oh, they smell so good. They are so not diet friendly. Um, oh, I can't find that. It's 373 calories for 100 grams. Which is a lot when you're on a you're trying to count calories but they taste so good um so yes this is kind of in my naughty treat the month but oh, i love them i want to eat one now okay favorite tv program of the month has to be game of thrones i don't want to ruin it i think the entire world has seen the season finale now but the ending sucked <laughs> i got really angry said that's it I'm not watching Game of Thrones anymore obviously I will um because it's next year it's not on now till next year which is devastating um but yeah I love Game of Thrones I loved I also love for almost like a week two weeks maybe a week week and a half there were still kind of conversations going on online about what's going to happen is that person dead is that person dead you know, did she really kill him? Is, is you know, is this one going to be brought back to life? What happened to Bronn and Rickon? You know, is the dragon going to save her? It's just, I love the conversation. And I love the people that have read the book. And then they, they go, well, in the book this happens. And the blah, blah, blah. But clearly, we're at that point now where the, the TV program has changed so much. You know, they killed people off in... Um, seasons a lot quicker than they died in the book so it's not staying true to the book but then those that have read the books are kind of going oh well this this and this and I love it I know some people get wound up by people doing spoilers which is why I've tried to be as um, vague as possible on this but I don't mind the spoilers I like hearing everybody's kind of ideas or what they think is going to happen so that's Definitely my favourite show of the month, even though I am devastated it is now over. Uh, YouTube favourites. I think I'm going to do like a top five favourites video by itself for different categories. Um, like vloggers, cooking, that kind of thing. But for the month, I think my top few YouTube channels will be Natty Nikki. Um, love her blog, love her Instagram. I only recently found her YouTube channel. I will link her below. Um, and then the other one has to be Claire Witt. Really love her videos. Wish she was my mum. Even though I think I'm a year older than her. But she's just like the perfect mum. And she has very much a style I like. And yeah she does amazing meals for her family and I'm like mm, please come and cook for me um, I'm gonna leave that there this has been quite rambly I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up comment subscribe share and I'll talk to you all very soon bye guys